I've been into computers since I could walk. These magic boxes that I'd always been in awe of, they, they can do good. I've always wanted to, to have a project that I could go, hey, this cool thing, I wrote it, and look at these people over here that it's helping. My dad's sister, my aunt Jill, she got motor neuron disease. Uh, as it progresses, it often takes away your, your ability to, to speak um, as, it, as it sort of slowly closes in on you. With conditions like motor neuron disease, one of the last things that's affected or not affected at all is your eye movement. The typing devices that allowed her to, to still type messages to friends. The price tag on some of these things is huge. Trying to you know, live your life as normally as possible and someone turns up and says, oh, if you want to keep talking to these people you live with, you need to pay $20,000. So I thought, why not try and create something that allows them to speak faster than they can already and should be completely free. Three years I was working on that and uh, often I was up till two, three in the morning. I uploaded it to GitHub and released it into the world. Mark and his occupational therapist asked for help to allow him to use his eyes to control computers for work. This is actually the configuration that Mark was using for over 15 years. He would bend his head forward and backwards to hit keyboard presses. The on-screen keyboard we used was OptiKey. We found it on GitHub. It has made it much easier for me to communicate with my coworkers and friends. Other people are now able to use something Dexter created for a very specific problem um, for all of their problems too. It's led to development in streams I wouldn't have even thought of. iMine, which is this fantastic spin-off project that allows you to play Minecraft just using your eyes. GitHub gives a really nice ecosystem for developers and it provides this community where everyone can kind of move forward together with, with visibility, which is very powerful. Knowing that you've made a difference materially to someone's life just through a bit of code, that's why eight years after I first started, I'm still working on it. I am Julius Sweetland, and I'm building the future of assistive technologies.